and uh, I will list, you know, all the factors that contributed to this great success. And my advice is that the president-elect must look at these factors. And for those who are going into litigation, we are not against that, but there is a need to understand the mind of God. As Suwajo and Shetima's victory is beyond, you know, what the ordinary eyes we see. I look at this as the act of God. First, look at the, the campaign of the G3 governors. You know, uh, rivers, sorry, um, the cross rivers, Zamfara and Deboni. That's the stepping stone. Of course, Governor Wiki fought us. Fought us very, very badly. And uh, when the APC people say, why are you supporting Wiki? I said, what did you do when Wiki removed me in the first court as governor of Ebony State? You want me to come and fight again? I choose my fight. I say I will not fight the man again. But the truth is that if anybody thinks he can win Governor Wiki in River State, that is joke taken too far. And I'm very bold to say that. Just like what he has done here, what the uh, uh, modest achievement we did in Ebony, and you say that you can win me in Ebony. It's a joke taken so far. Our people want performance. If you have performed as a governor, they will stand with you. And so I commend the G3 governors. But I also thank God Almighty, who had remarked that, you know, Asiwaju and Shetima would win. And look at the process of God. Asiwaju was very courageous and Shetima and made themselves available. God, directly and indirectly, made Governor Wike very much available. And so there is no way PC can conclude about the success of the election without mentioning Governor Wiki. And they will be asking, you know, Asiwaju Shetima to please bring Governor Wiki to the core administration of the federal government. He has a lot to offer. He has a lot to offer for the unity of the country. And it's not all about party now. It's about the unity of the country. It's about how to move this country forward. It's about how to reunite our people. And I'm very happy that uh, Asiwaju is thinking in this direction, and uh, I want to thank him. So thanking him for making himself available, expecting to win jackpot in America, but bought no coupon. And one day he was praying, God said to him, do me a favor and go and buy a coupon. So Asiwaju and Shetima, they bought coupon and they made themselves available. And I thank Mr. President Buhari, who insisted that he had no candidates, and that you know, whoever would win in our primary should, and that gave Aswaji the, the lead. And I also thank the uh, Northern governors, who insisted that power should move to the South, in accordance with the agreement all the Southern governors reached you know, in the Delta State, that power should shift from North to south. And that, I think, that is what is fair. And I think that God is God of fairness, equity, and justice. And that's what God, you know, was looking at. And that's what we and G5 governors, they were looking at, and are still looking at it, and they have supported that this power should be shifted to uh, the south. We can say something I won't forget. He said, for those who believe that some section of the country are not needed in terms of voting strength, Yes, but you need them. You need peace. You need peace from them so that you can govern very well. And so this is very important that all sections of this country must be integrated, must be listened to, must be you know, uh, uh, brought together so that we can have a very peaceful next administration. And I want to also thank very highly uh, uh, Governor, I, uh, the um, the. the suspended chairman of PDP. You know, he did very well because if he had accepted to resign, it would have been very difficult for uh, uh, the APC. So he's our man, and I commend him very, very, very well. And I commend him very well. And I'm begging Wike, they should lift his suspension so that he can suspend many more of your leaders. We love what he has done. And so, we commend him, and I think Asiwaju must know that he worked for him, and they must also integrate him in the next uh, administration. And so, all this set of people, Asiwaju Shetima must know that God turned their hands 
to work for him, to actualize the will of God, and to actualize unity, equity, and fairness. And we are very grateful to God for that. Uh, let me comment Mr. Project. You know, sometimes people say, oh, he has done well in infrastructure. I ask them, what is, what is more after infrastructure? Everything about administration is infrastructure. It's an infrastructure, you talk about this school. Without this infrastructure, with the people. When I saw the way the school was, you know, just in the pictures, and I, I agree with Mwike, we should have shown it electronically, you know, I, I felt so terrible. I felt so terrible. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the status of the project now is like, you know, a university. And that is the quality that uh, Governor Wike is known for. Don't take away, you know, man's grace. Don't take away man's gift. Wike has done very well. You talk about, you know, uh, medical. Without infrastructure, equipment, you know, buildings, roads, there will be no. So everything for me is infrastructure. People were, were packing out of this uh, very highly populated, you know, community until the road was done. And you see businesses everywhere. So for me, it is infrastructure. A man in India was asked what is the success of, you know, uh, uh, India. He said if you want to succeed, you have to build infrastructure. So for me, infrastructure is everything. It is from there you empower the people. Sharing money is not what we should embark on. We should teach the people how to work. We should teach our people to be hardworking. Because an idle mind is devil's workshop. So I commend you. This is quality project. And all your projects, they reflect you. They reflect your opinion. They reflect your love for the people. It's not easy after how many people are still doing projects after the elections. So it shows that your projects are not about elections. They're about putting the people first. They're about having the fear of God. And I want to commend you very, very highly. You know, people say, ah, you and we, we quarreled in principle because my closest brother and friend, we were very close and people were not happy. When we started quarreling, people were happy. Now we are even much closer now. They are not happy. And so, uh, 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 Governor, you must know that we have to be much, much more closer. <laughs> you know, he, he didn't want me to leave PDP. And that's a fact. There's nothing else. You know. But the truth is that, you know, he acknowledged that we have done well within the limit of our resources. And I've acknowledged you know, his indisputable personality and performance, you know, in rivers and beyond. And so I want to commend you, and I want to commend you. And I want to assure rivers people that his heartbeat is to continue and possibly to come from community.